And come into our standing mountain pose. Sitting bones toward the floor. Be hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Knees going toward your second toes. And ankles, knees, and hips and shoulders lined up. Shoulders relaxing down. Keep those shoulder blades going toward your waist and those ribs toward your spine and up, getting that core supporting your spine. Crown to the ceiling and just focus inward, getting that yoga perspective. Breathing deep, exhaling stress and tension. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine, and inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, but keep the shoulders down. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, elbows back, chest open. Inhale, up to the front, shoulders still down. And then bring your hands behind, just clasp them gently, fingers together, and press them to the floor as you lift your heart. Stretch your head slightly back, keep your toes spreading out. Lift your heart, and then exhaling, pivot over. And just come into that forward position as deeply as feels right for you today. Bring your hands up a little more toward your head. Get those shoulders released a little bit more. Forehead toward your legs, maybe a little bit further. Sitting bones lifting toward the ceiling for that back of your legs to stretch maybe more. And then bend your knees slightly. And start at the bottom of the spine, working all the way back into the upper body for your back bend. Shoulders dropping, head reaching away, and chest lifting. Take a moment there, breathing, lengthening your whole spine. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, just feel the circulation maybe increase a little bit. And again, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and again, clasp behind you with the fingers the opposite way, so shift from one position over. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back, a nice back bend, and then pivot at your hips, exhaling into your forward position. Hands up, head down, move your chin, Get the neck released a little bit more. Tuck it in, get a good lengthening. And bending your knees once more. Start at the bottom of your spine and wind into your back bend, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders, stretching, spread your toes, and don't forget to keep breathing. Inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment to feel what's going on internally for you today. Side stretch. Oh, let's keep one arm down and the other one out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lengthen through the spine, keep everything facing front, and lean to the side. Let this hand come down toward the knee and the other one reach away. Keep looking to the front or slightly up so you're not leaning forward. And push the foot you're leaning away from down. Get that whole side of your body rib area opening. And then inhale back up. Release your arm and feel your sides. Notice one side is maybe longer, so let's do the other side. Arm out, palm up, hand above your shoulder. And again, just push those arms away, everything facing the front, lean to the other side. Hands sliding down towards your knee and other arm reaching away. Again, push the foot down for that extra rib opening. Breathe into it. Feel that stretch on this side. Notice your spine moving sideways. And again, inhale and come back upright and release that arm. Shoulders up, back and down a couple of times, and release. Feel those ribs, notice what's going on for you today. And then base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch way apart for our twist next. Arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows and bring them back next to your ears. Stretch your spine, spread your toes, lengthening that spine for the twist, and turning to one side. A breath in, and as you exhale, pivot over. And just deepen as far as you want to go. 
lengthening with the sitting bones, maybe a little bit more pull the body toward that leg. Let's see if you can keep the weight on both feet evenly. And then inhale your way back up. Lift the heart, drop the shoulders, pull the elbows back, and stretch into that upper body back knee. Remember, always gentle on your low back when it's twisting. Shoulders down, heart up. Take a breath. And then again, inhaling, come upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around. Lengthen the spine once more and twist to the opposite side. Another breath and exhale open. Deepen as far on this side as your body wants to go. Just relax. Feel that upper body come close to your leg. Check if your weight's still on both feet as evenly as possible. And again, inhaling, work your way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back, and feel that upper body back. Breathe deep. Just relax. Spread your toes. And again, be gentle on your low back. And then inhale and come up. Exhale around to the center, arms reaching into extended mount. Sink evenly into your feet, spread those toes out. Lengthen up through the crown, drop those shoulders, shoulder blades down, sitting bones toward the floor. Feel that extension lengthening up. And then let's squat into our chair pose. So put your sitting bones back, bend your knees toward, but not beyond your toes. Keep your arms and body straight and squat as deeply as you'd like. So sitting bones going back, spine as straight as you can. So push the sitting bones and crown away from each other. Lengthen, keep the head going toward the hands. Take a moment and breathe. And then lift the sitting bones, straighten your knees, drop into ragdoll and adjust head. Take a breath, feel the stability of both feet. Lift your sitting bones, straighten your knees, maybe a little bit more. And then sinking your knees again toward your toes, coming back into your squat. Shift those arms next to your ears again. Straighten out your spine. Check to make sure your knees aren't caving in or out, but going toward that second toe, but not beyond. And then leave with your fingertips back up. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears as you come back into extended mountain. Palms out, coming to shoulder level. Pivot forward, lead with your heart. Stretch it out halfway and drop in your rag doll. Take a moment there, just breathing. And then if you want, pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs. Drop back in your rag doll. And again, let's do our roll up. Slowly from the bottom of the spine all the way back and into mountain pose. As you get back into your standing position, take a moment feeling that energy through your whole spine and let your shoulders relax. Take a moment to breathe, spread your toes, and we'll do our balance practice. So lift your toes on your balance foot. Get that ball of the foot, base of the toe area connecting. Spread the toes themselves out as you put them back down. Make sure that knee is going toward your second toe. So remember, Rolling in to make sure that you're not allowing that knee to spread out. Shoulders back and down. Activate the core, getting it supporting your spine. So ribs toward your spine and up. Feel that abdominal area support you. And then when you're ready, it's sinking evenly into that foot. So the base of the foot, toes and the heel evenly sinking. Bring your other foot up. So you can go a little if you're challenged today. Or you can bring it up further or pull it in towards your heart. So do what's right for your body. And again, roll in so that you're not crossing that foot over. And then when you're stable, circle your ankles both ways. Keep the crown reaching up. And when you're ready, flex and point, straightening the foot out as you bring it back down. And as you get back into mountain pose, just sink evenly into both feet. 
feel what's going on through your body. Check that alignment once more on that core support and that foot support. Make sure you're not gripping with those toes. Sink evenly into your foot and don't forget to breathe. And bring the other leg up when you're ready. Breathing into it, remember, do what's right for your body, whatever level works for you today. And work your ankle when you're stable. Take a breath. Just relax. Flex some point a couple times to straighten it out as you put the foot back to the floor. Take a moment there and breathe. Exhale and the tension. And then we're going to do another balance practice and kind of combine it with our little squat chair pose. So get your balance foot balanced, sinking evenly into the base of the toes and heel, lifting the arch, keeping those toes spreading out, keeping everything aligned, core activated for support. And we're going to slightly squat and bring the other foot up and cross it over at the ankle. So your sitting bones, hips are going slightly back behind you. Your core is supporting that low back, and you're just coming into that squat position gently. Take a moment and breathe. Feel the balance. Spread those toes. And then straightening that leg out, bring it back down. Exhale. And sink evenly into both feet. Take a moment there, again, just noticing your body, allowing yourself that full support of both feet, and aligning and balancing into that second foot. So remember, spread your toes, get the base of the toes and heels supporting evenly on your balance foot. Make sure the knee is going straight ahead, everything lined up on that side. Once again, squat slightly, bring the other leg up, Cross the ankle over the knee and the knee out to the side. Just a little bit back with those sitting bones, just a little gentle stretch through the spine, breathing into that balance as much for whatever you need today. Breathing and seeking. And then again, straighten the leg out and put it back down. Exhale, any balance stress. Coming back into mountain pose. And let's do one more chair. So sitting bones toward the floor, hips open, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Keep those shoulder blades going toward your waist, arms next to your ears. And again, we're going to bring the knees toward the toes, not beyond the sitting bones, way back behind you. And push back into that squat. Take a breath. So evenly into the feet. Reach out through the hands, through the head. Keep the arms by your ears, the sitting bones going back as deeply into your squat again as you want. And then leading with the fingertips, come on back all the way up. Arms out, arms to shoulder level, and to your sides. Shoulders up, back, and down, coming into mountain pose. Spread the toes. And bring your hands to your heart. Looking at your hands, bring them toward the ceiling. A little back bend, pulling your thumbs back, lifting your heart. Exhale, hands to your chest, pivot over at your hips, drop into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, on your shins, and come into your halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine, stretch and straight. And then exhale again, dropping into ragdoll, and wind your way up. Shoulders back and down, coming back into your standing position. And then step your feet wide, however good your width of your feet is today. Toes toward the front, knees toward the front, hips toward the front, shoulders toward the front as we start. Take a moment and spread your toes get evenly into both feet. Let's do, uh, let's do pyramid. We haven't done that. Before. So we're going to turn our feet first. So take your foot to the side 90 degrees and bring your heel back and toes forward on that back foot. 
Get your stability and then bring the back hip all the way around and face that front leg. So your back hips coming forward and your front hips coming back and you're getting your hips and shoulders both facing the front. And then bring your hands behind you. Bring the fingertips up between your shoulder blades and the heels of the palms toward each other or together if you can into reverse prayer. Otherwise, just clasp your arms or cross your lower back. Bring your elbows in toward your side. Feel that heart open. Everything straight in the legs. Keep them straight. Push the sitting bones evenly back. Pivot at your hips and come into parallel-ish toward the floor with your upper body. So you're facing that front leg, knee going toward your second toe, and the other foot slightly out toward the side, giving you good support behind you. You can have your feet, of course, further apart if your hips require it. Keep that back hip pulling up and the front hip pulling back, and just straightening and lengthening through your spine, getting your body as much parallel to the floor and straight as you can. Sitting bones both pushing behind you, crown to the front. Keep that chin slightly toward your chest so the back of the neck keeps stretching as well. Spread your toes, get good support. And then inhale and pivot back up. Release your arms, bring your feet to the front and your body coming back into that starting position. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, tension. So when you move your feet, you want to make sure you're getting a good stability for your body as we go turning to the side, because you know, some people have different hip widths, and it doesn't always make sense to have that hip not move slightly out to give you a little bit more hip stability. So make sure you're doing what's right for your body in your personal practice. And of course, we're going to do our pyramid to the other side. Take a moment to breathe, get everything lined up, spread out through your toes, turn your other foot all the way to the side. Heel back, toes forward, and bring the hip around so you're facing that first foot. So make sure that you're getting those hips appropriately positioned so that your hips and shoulders face the direction of that front foot. You're getting the weight evenly into both feet, the knees face straight on the legs. And again, fingertips together right around your waist and then push them up toward your shoulder blades and palms together if you can. Or clasp those arms, just getting a little stability with that lower back. Take a breath, pivot at your hips, bring your chest forward, your whole body stay as straight as you can as you pivot to look down toward that first foot that you turn. Hips back evenly. Hips even toward the floor, shoulders even toward the floor, then ground reaching away from the sitting bones, which push back. And remember, don't clench your neck too much, so don't look forward, just look at your toes. Take a breath, straighten it out, even a little bit more if that works, in the knees, in the spine, in everything. Relax your shoulders, keep breathing, and we'll let your feet evenly sink into that surface beneath you, supporting evenly on both feet. And then again, pivoting at your hips, come back upright, release your arms, turn the feet to the front, and coming back into that wide position. Bring your thumbs into that hip crease, sitting bones slightly back, lead with your heart, bring your body forward. Slide your hands down onto your shins. Just press gently in with your hands, pushing the sitting bones and crown again away from each other. Get your body as straight as you can. We're going to do a twist so you can keep your hand on, right hand on the leg or bring it down to the floor under your shoulder. And bring the left arm back to the side. Stretch the bones apart on your spine. Keep stretching it so they've got room to twist and turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder to face the side as that hand goes up toward the ceiling and above your other hand as much as it will. Take a breath, stretch it out, 
Maximize or minimize. You're always doing what's right for your body and your choice. Exhale, follow that hand back down, either to your shin or the floor under your shoulder. And again, lengthening your spine, we're going to twist to the other side. So hand, left hand on your leg or floor, and right arm out to the side. Again, hips, ribs, and shoulder turn as you follow that hand up toward the ceiling. So your whole body is slightly turned toward the side as you move into your twist on this side. Take a breath. Maximize or minimize. Remember, whatever's right in your body, just moving whole upper body lengthening that spine so it can twist and moving as deeply as you want. Take a breath, stretch it out, and then again, exhaling, bring that hand back down, following it all the way to the leg or the floor. And then bring both hands to your shins, and again, stretch and straighten through the backs of the legs, through the whole upper body, and slide your hands up, pivoting back, into your wide leg standing position and then stepping into a mountain pose. Spread your toes, sink your city bones, feel that core supporting your spine as you reach up through the crown. Take a breath. Hands to your heart. Inhale them toward the ceiling. Let's swan dive, bringing those arms out to the side, just leading full body, pivoting into that halfway position. Stretch it out there and drop in your leg dog. Slide your hands up under your shins again into that halfway up stretch. And then bending your knees, come onto the floor into our child pose transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Take a deep breath and just relax. Feel your whole body stretch. Exhaling any tension. And then let's inhale, sitting up. Bring your legs out in front. To the end of the mat, into staff position. Activate your core, lengthen up through the crown. And drop your shoulders toward your waist. Keep that core working as you slowly lower onto your back. And come all the way to the mat into reclined integration. Get those shoulders, shoulder blades down. Sitting bones slightly toward your heels. Bring your arms up to T position. And then again, sitting bones slightly toward your heels. You can bend the right leg and bring it up toward the ceiling or keep it straight and bring it up toward the ceiling again. Straightening the leg as much as you can, straight up, flex the foot, press the top of the, or the bottom of the foot toward the ceiling. And keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down, the other leg extended out. We're going to do our twist today from this position. So feel that core activate. Let the foot push up, back of the leg as straight as feels okay for you. We're going to roll all the way to the left side. Now keep your head down. Remember, don't overwork your neck. Roll all the way onto your left side. Foot to the floor. Take your left hand on your right foot or leg and hold it down to the floor. Bring your right arm right above up to the ceiling. Palm open, shoulder relaxing. Bring the back of your hand right at shoulder level behind you. So don't pull it up toward your head or down toward your foot, but straight back. And just follow it with your gaze, looking at it as you move into your twist. So your hand may not make it to the floor. That's okay. It's gravity going to work it for you. Let it happen, but don't force it. If your spine isn't ready, don't go there. Hold your foot if you can for extra lower back twist. Otherwise, just be gentle if you need to. And turn your head as much as your neck area twist wants to do. So hand goes to the floor or not, always doing what's right for your middle back twist. And just exhale and let yourself relax even deeper into your twist whenever your body is ready. Remember those exhalations help those ligaments release a little bit more. So just breathe deep. 
Maybe blow out through your lips just gently, getting those releases through the whole length of your spine. And of course, you'd want to hold your twist longer on your own. But we never have time to do that because we need some time for our relaxation. So go ahead and let go of your foot or leg and roll onto your back. Bring that foot back up toward the ceiling. Straighten your knee as much as it wants to straighten. Keep that other hip nice and open. And flexing your heel, lead with it. Bring your leg slowly to the floor, feeling those abdominal muscles working for you to control that descent. And again, hands or palms up outside your shoulders, just gently relaxing through the shoulders. And whenever your foot gets to the floor, just release and relax through that whole lower body, getting ready to twist, of course, to the other side. So once more, sitting bones slightly towards your heels, bending your left knee or keeping it straight, bring that leg up, foot toward the ceiling. Press down gently into that lower back and raise that heel up, toes towards your nose. Right leg is just straight out, hands or palms up, and again, keeping your head on the floor, rolling all the way to the right side onto your hip. Bring the foot to the floor, your hands together out in front of you. Bring that foot up and hold it in your hand, or just hold the leg wherever you can, and keep it on the floor as you bring your, what is that, left hand to the side. Look up at it, and lower it straight behind your shoulder, not to your foot or your head, but straight back into your twist on this side. Turn your head, you're looking back toward that arm for that neck area twist. You're pushing away with the foot in front, holding the leg or foot to maximize that lower back only if you want to, being in your twist. So do what's right for your body. And again, gravity will let your middle back know what is right for it. Just go as far as the hand wants to go and then breathe, exhale, and maybe release a little deeper into your twist. So remember, do what's right for you at all times, especially in twists, but really in your entire yoga practice always. Deepening only as far as you want to go and then totally relaxing. Just let the twist happen, never force it. Never force any yoga pose. Just let your body do what's right for you at that particular time. Deep breaths in. Exhale and just relaxing. And of course, you need to release that, letting go of the foot or leg, rolling onto your back, straightening things out as you push the foot up toward the ceiling, activating that core for support as you allow that foot leading with the heel to lower back to the floor. Take a moment as you breathe, just letting your body release, sinking evenly into that surface beneath you as you get that whole foot and leg to the floor. Bring your body into corpse position, just allowing your hands to release palms up, shoulders down, and toes toward each other. Exhale, soften and sink. A little bit of core work today, so go ahead, soften that belly, let it relax. Just allow your body to release completely, allowing everything to sink deeply into that surface. As you let your body go, just allow your awareness to turn inward. Scan through your body, find any tension or tightness. As you exhale, just let that go as well. Soften your shoulders, your belly, your hips, your legs, your arms, your hands. Everything just softening and sinking. Deep breaths in, just exhaling and letting it go. And as your body grows heavier, sink deeper into that earth support, just let Mother Earth support you completely. Let your awareness of your body release from your attention. 
And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. It's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you can let the thoughts go. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift away as easily as you can. Floating away without attention. And just deepen your body into the earth support. And allow your mind to just float without awareness of the content. And allow your attention just to turn inward. Find that peace deep within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments breathing, being peace. If you have longer to relax today, feel free to take all your opportunity available. Time to return, You're getting ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your life. And as you breathe more deeply and stretch gently, just allow yourself the opportunity to stretch and move however feels right for you today. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your heels up towards your hips and your knees up towards your head. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Your body now, you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release them, bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up. Getting ready for whatever's ahead for your day today. Thanks for joining me.